So we started out this project trying to find the rotational period of a few asteroids. A rotational period is like a day on Earth. So we started imaging, and Van Warcom was our first um, asteroid, and after we monitored the brightness of it over a few days, it turned out, because of some anomalies in the data, that Van Warcom was a binary asteroid, which meant it had a moon, and it is only the 126th to be found. The astronomy program at Andover is extremely unique. Um, because we have a 16-inch professional-level telescope here, the students are able to do a ton of a variety of projects. Um, everyone starts out in the first term with asteroid imaging, which is what we just talked about with the binary asteroid, but people branch out into all kinds of projects later on. This is my fifth term taking astronomy at Andover. What I've really enjoyed about uh, doing this course is that we can actually get in and do some real science and contribute to the scientific community. So for the students that were new to the research class, um, it, at first it was perhaps difficult for them to appreciate what a cool discovery this is. But in fact, for anyone that's been um, trying to measure asteroid rotation periods, uh, it's a pretty exciting thing to have this happen. And it's of course possible to go out on the golf course your very first time and uh, hit a ball and have it go onto the green and, and uh, you know, fall in the hole and you get a hole in one. But most often that's not really the way it goes. Finding a binary asteroid is probably something like that. It's pretty amazing actually that these students who are in their first term of astronomy research um, were able to come up with this very cool discovery. And for me, it's more a little bit more like being a seasoned golfer and having something like this happen. It's something you always hope will happen, um, but until it does, you gotta just keep, keep at it and keep hoping. For a minute and over, we are Astronomy Research. The Andor camera and the FLI filter rail was donated by the Abbott Academy Association.